Okay, hey guys. <clears throat> Today we're going to do a rehouse. Um, one thing that has always bugged me about my collection is I, I use Tupperware a lot, and that's understandable for smaller slings. Um, you're not really putting too much money into something for something that's just going to outgrow it. But what I want to be able to do is get really nice enclosures uh, for my females, especially the, um, well, even as they're still growing, just, just females in general. I just want pieces that will work as a display. Um, so from now on, um, at least for the females, and as they grow larger, I'm going to be creating my own enclosures, sort of. Um, this is uh, something I found at Hobby Lobby, actually. I'm sure other people have done this plenty of times before, but I'm going to talk about the way I just did it tonight. This is the um, case of a football display, a mini football display. Um, my craft store near here in the Midwest, uh, Hobby Lobby, has these um, at many different sizes, pretty cheap. Uh, this one here was $9.99. After the sales that they always have, it only cost me six bucks. And it's a really heavy duty, really strong plastic but not too heavy. Usually it's supposed to be oriented this way um, with the lid at the bottom so you can lift this up off the top off your model, but it's easy enough to flip it. It's still well balanced and um, you don't need hinges because the lid slips in and if you get your finger under it, it comes right off. So what I went and did is I bought this guy. The largest ones meant for basketball and soccer um, display. Soccer ball displays are I think $22, but after you know, the coupons are usually down another $8, so, you know, 12 bucks for a very large one that would probably work for a full-grown pokey um, or other, you know, large burrow or terrestrial. Um, I'm going to be figuring out ways to turn these into arboreal setups, which shouldn't be too hard, um, but for now, work perfectly for these. Now, I also went and I bought a soldering iron. Uh, yeah, let me grab it real quick. It was a... 30 watt, very simple, um, came with its own stand, four bucks, plus tax, easy peasy. So I don't know about any of you, but the idea of getting a really nice, crystal clear, um, strong enclosure for my female tar uh, tarantulas for, what was that, four bucks and then six bucks, 10 bucks and a few minutes of my time is a lot better than paying 100 to 150 dollars for a you know custom made um you know <laughs> vented enclosure this works just fine um and it's it's just much better so that's my recommendation i'm going to start doing this for all of my females um now that i've tested it and i know the soldering iron works on this thickness of plastic, it's going to be perfect. So um, I think I'm going to rehouse my female Syria Cosmos Berte. She's right there. It's going to be a little large for her, but she desperately needs an upgrade. And the other ones that I would put in here are in pre-molt and I don't want to bother them. So it's going to be her. Um, I'll go ahead and get the enclosure ready now. Okay, we're all ready, and like I said, um, this is going to be a little bit large for her, but because uh, Cerea Cosmos are a dwarf species, 
Um, she'll be fine. I think she'll... I honestly want to give my tarantulas a lot more space than they really need. Um, because I want to see them, you know, do whatever they want. I want to... I know I can't do it completely, but I'd like to mimic, at least a little closely, the freedom of, um, you know, the wild. <coughs> Excuse me. That probably makes no sense, but let's see how jumpy she is. Sorry, I didn't mean to take the whole thing out, but that works. There's a look at her. She does have a heart-shaped um, mark on her abdomen, like all most Cosmas do. Let's see if I can get her to move. Come on, baby. She's very shy. And she is sexed female. I did sex her female with uh, her previous molt. Come on, honey. Do I need to lift you up? <laughs> Come on. There you go. There you go. That a girl. Right onto the cork bark. Very good. <laughs> All right, let's get a look at her. She'll be very good in this enclosure for a while. Let me see if I can get a close up one sec. And there she is. She's a little bigger than an inch in leg span right now. And again, these this uh, genus is compiled of dwarf species, so she won't get super large, but I'm not entirely sure what she maxes out at. I'll probably add it in a little comment. <laughs> but I'm really, really happy with this enclosure. It's still crystal clear. It's going to look really awesome with all of my spiders, so. Um, I, if, if you guys want, I mean, I'm sure a lot, there's plenty of these tutorials all around, but if you'd like, I can make a step-by-step -step guide on how to make one. Ooh! <laughs> Going on a walk. <laughs> Don't fall, honey. Come on. Come on, back in. Come on. There you go. No, don't go this way. Well, I'll go ahead and wrangle her. <laughs> All right, well, she's back in her enclosure. <laughs> she just decided to go for a walk and has found the burrow, so that's good. Um, I'll probably give you guys an update on next feeding day um, when maybe she's done a little bit to the enclosure of her own. So yeah, perfect rehouse. Hope you guys liked it.